In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own e-commerce store using products that you drop ship. So basically, you load up some products on your site and when people order them, you just go to the drop shipper and you order them after they've paid you and then they ship them for you with no labels on the package. So it looks like it comes from you. That way you don't have to carry any inventory. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to decide what type of store you want to set up and then we're going to set it up with WordPress. And then after we do that I'm going to show you how to go and get the products and get your store set up with the products. So in this video we're going to set up our store. So the first thing you want to do is go to wordpress.org and then you want to download the most recent version of WordPress, whatever it is here. And then we'll just download the zip and we'll save it. Now we're going to unzip this. I like You can just use extract all. I'm going to use 7-zip which is a free program, extract. Okay, now we have our files ready to upload, and all we do is upload the files inside this WordPress directory up to the server. Now, at this point, you need to decide what you're going to theme your store around. There, you can do pretty much anything you want, clothing or whatever you want. I'm going to go with something that is really popular these days, and that's tech. And specifically, I'm going to go after tablets and tablet accessories. Okay, so what I would do now is I would be going over to GoDaddy or Namecheap and trying to find a domain name that fits in with my theme. Okay, so Tablet Town, for instance. So tablettown.com. Okay, so you would just go through this exercise until you actually found one that you want to use. Okay, and then what you would do is you'd go and register the domain, so you'd go through the checkout, and then you could get hosting on your way through, or you could host it on another platform. Okay, so just set up your domain name and hosting so that you have a place to upload your files. I'm not going to register this domain name. I'm just going to use one of my sample domains. So what we want to do now is upload the WordPress files. I like to use a program called FileZilla, which is a free FTP client. And what you do is you navigate on the left side to where your files are. And then on the right side, you need to navigate to where you want to upload on your domain. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new directory here, and I'm going to call it Tablet Town. Okay, and then we'll go down to and find that. Okay, so we navigate to there. Now what we want to do is just select all of these and then right click and upload. So that'll upload our files up to our server for us. Now what we need to do is go create a database for WordPress. So you need to sign in to your control panel and set up an FT and set up a MySQL database. So we just go down to where we see databases. Now before I go in there, you can also use Fantastico Deluxe if you have it on your server or if you have a way to do one-click installs for WordPress, you can do that. Okay, I'm showing you the manual install in case you don't have it. So you just go here, you go to WordPress, and then you just click New Installation and then you go through the wizard, it's only two or three screens to fill out and it'll install it for you. But I'm showing you the manual way here. So back to databases, we'll go to the, you can either go to the wizard or you can set up the database in here. The wizard is the easiest way to do it. We're going to go in here and now we give the database a name here. 
we'll call it DS just for drop ship next step we need a username I'm gonna make it the same and then we need the password I'm just gonna use the password generator and then we're gonna create and we want to give it all privileges. Next step. Okay, so there we go. Now let's open a notepad session here. I'm going to paste in my information. So here's my password that I just uh, copied into my clipboard there. And then you can copy the rest of the information from here. I named them both the same, so I'm just going to copy this whole database name out and paste it in here. Now, we just check over here and make sure everything's uploaded, and it is. So all you have to do now is type in our URL to our new site. So let's go back to the web browser here. Okay, so we'll, we'll go through the wizard here. Okay, so the database name, let me go back to our list here. We brought in with notepad, we'll copy this. Our username is the same. Password. Now, localhost you need to find out what your database host is. So you go back here and then you should go into phpMyAdmin and if you look at the top here that is your database host name. So it's localhost which is correct. Table prefix changes to something else. I'll call it dsst underscore this is just a security precaution. Click Submit and then run the install. Okay, so here what we want to do is give it a site title. We can change all this later. Right now I'm just going to put Tablet Town. Our username. Don't use admin. Tablet Guy. Password. Give it an email address down here. And then let's turn this allow search engines off for now. We, we can turn that back on later. Okay, let's install WordPress. Okay, so tablet gut. Should have been tablet guy, but that's all right. I can't type. And then okay and here we are we're now inside the WordPress site in the next video we'll start the customization